The past month has been an interesting one for the Timberwolves. Players going in and out of COVID protocols has resulted in a 6-7 and seven record in their last 13 games. And the team now sits two games under 500. Tonight, they have almost the full roster back. And they want to make a statement against one of the best teams in the West, the Golden State Warriors. playing seven of their last eight games on the road. The Timberwolves are finally back home. Dino inside again, hooking up with Vanderbilt. Rocks the rim with two hands. Now popped out, rebound Towns, put back yes, and he drew a foul. I think that we're just playing with a lot of uh, a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of love for each other, and I think that's why we're translating our season to what it is right now. I think this team has is is one of my favorite teams I've ever played on, especially in NBA, and not only as players, you know, with their talent, but just the characters they all hold in that locker room. It, it, it speaks volumes. Back out, and he'll line up the right angle three and bury it. That's what I love about our team is that they're hungry. They, they understand that this is not just the pinnacle of our season. This is like the great moment in our season. No, this is just a win. And now we got to get to the next game. We got to be ready for the next game. Yes, sir. Put it in the left, Tyler. Put it in the left. Great job, man. Great job, Bench. Very ready to bring you the score. Yeah. 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 Welcome back, Jayla. After the big home win, the team heads back out on the road for a pair of games. What are you working on? Through this feud. In my mind, right? What's, what's the fastest you've done it? Uh, 20 minutes. That's impressive. Not as fast. I ain't there. <laughs> Here. This is the time for us to start putting it together. Try to start stacking some really good performances on top of each other. Well, now it's time to go. Um, make a push between here and the All-Star break. We got a lot more games piling up, most of them on the road, so we're gonna have to be ready to go. All right, Coach, two-game road trip opens tonight in New York City. Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Do you think it's different than in other arenas? Now you definitely feel it here. It's a special place. And everybody kind of raises their game when they come in here, too, which is also a good thing. For guys like Carl Anthony Towns, Nas Reed, uh, they, they grew up just down the road within an hour's stone's throw from there. Yeah, and a lot of these guys played, you know, really big college games here, too. So it's got special memories for that. Right after the game, we're all talking about, can we go shoot at Madison Square Garden? You know, can we get ready for the next game? Like, we're hungry. So uh, when you're hearing stuff like that, it, it makes uh, me really happy and proud, you know? These guys in the locker room want to win. Um, I think the fans see it in the way we're performing, and I think they see it in, in the record. We're doing our best, you know, and I think that we're playing hard, so, and we're getting better. Yes. Anything else? Nothing. Let's go, man. Let's, go. Let's get it. Let's start to make a big push right now, all right? Big push right Just now. Just do y'all job. Do y'all job. Family on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Timberwolves and Knicks tonight from Madison Square Garden. The Wolves lost to the Knicks three weeks ago at Target Center. But in that game, the Wolves were missing four of their five starters. Hey, can no team with us, y'all. Let's why, why not start now in the garden? Love Let's that. Run for us, Let's get one. Team on three, one, two, three. Team. Tonight, this team is looking for some revenge. Three and 
drains it. How about that from D'Angelo Russell? Back to Ant, down the left side of the lane, up off glass. He got it for two more. Anthony Edwards now with 10. Here you go, sight. Back to Russell straight away on the deep three. He jams it home. The lead is back to five. Tom Thibodeau calls a timeout. In a tight game, the two teams are going shot for shot late in the fourth quarter. Back to Noel, who's at the left angle now. Working against Fournier, into the paint, stops, pops, pull up, jumper, he got it again! 14 for Jalen Noel. One possession game with 3.20 left to play. Walker up the center of the floor, pops on an angle, three, oh, he's feeling it! His fourth three, all in the second half. With 29.3 seconds left and down one, the Wolves need a winning play. Towns puts the Wolves up 110-109 with 29.3 seconds left. Fournier up top, off the Randall screen. Curls into the paint, runs up the shot, off glass, no. Rebound loose, Alec Burks has he steps back on a three, fires, no. It's a Timberwolves victory on the road in New York to get back to the 500 mark. Super tough win right there. A lot of adversity. A way to match the physicality. A way to battle back when things were going against us. Calls, shit, all that kind of stuff. That's a hell of a win right there. Right? Yeah. Way to play. All right. Good job. Here you go. Let's go. Right back at it. Put our minds right right now for tomorrow. Right back at it. Team 03, 1, 2, 3. This shit, fellas. Gets up ahead of Steve, can't finish. Anthony Edwards gets a, gets teed up twice and he's done. After reviewing the play, the basket made by Carl Anthony Towns has been nullified. The play has been changed to a flagrant foul penalty one, and the taunting technical foul that was assessed to Anthony Towns will stand. This road trip has tested us more than anything. On these last few two games, it's testing us more than anything. Uh, with that being said, whenever adversity sets in, how we're gonna handle it is on us. So I think it's, it's much needed. Losing our composure, all whatever comes with it, I think it's all necessary for, for a bigger picture. After the loss to Atlanta, the Wolves have again fallen a game under 500. They have one home game against Brooklyn to get right before going back out on the road. Center of the floor, top of the key, down the lane, to the rim, layup, good and a foul. Noel spit move in the lane, up with the right hand, counter for two. Noel pulls up on a three right side, buries it, and he drew a foul. Jayla Noel to the free throw line for a possible four point play. It's a close game early, and the Wolves are getting big points from Jalen Noel. He's come on strong lately, to the surprise of some, but not to his teammates.
he's been like this since fifth grade, so it's not a surprise to me. It's just uh, good to see someone that you've played with and known for a long time just shining on the same team as you. I've been telling everyone about that. He's been a walking bucket. Seattle keep coming up, keep coming up with people who are just walking buckets. Jamal Crawford, Isaiah Thomas, we could keep going down the list, Zach Levine, but uh, just add him to those group of guys. He's walking buckets. Guy who call him professional scorers, guy who can just uh, come off the bench and, and get right to it with nothing blocking him mentally or, or his psyche is just strictly on getting to the rim and making things happen. Yeah, I knew like high school, middle school, like I'm not surprised. That's why I'm just be like, this is what he does. In the recent game against the Knicks, Jalen was pivotal to the comeback that gave the team a chance. Noel catch and shoot three on the way is good. Jalen wants to take him off the dribble. Left hand into the lane, runs it up with the right hand and hits it. Jalen Noel's come alive. He brings the Wolves to within two. You can't take him off the floor. Uh, you can tell, like, he wanted the ball in his hand. You can see his mindset. Like, I think he said in his interview, like, no one can guard him one-on-one. -on -one. That's what you've seen. I just saw that they could have guarded one-on-one. At the end of the day. He did what he's supposed to do, you know, what we know he could do. He, he was a walking bucket, made some tough shots that gave us a chance and gave me a chance. Six man of the year, Jalen Noel, six man of the year, man. That's, that man's out there balling. He, he's a, a superstar in his role. All around bucket, that's what I'd be saying. Back in Target Center, the Wolves have fed off of Jalen's scoring surge to close out the 11-point win. TP. Hey, Jay, where you hoop, boy? Don't blink at. J.O., J.O., everybody who played, where you hoop, y'all? Best job of the year playing with great hands and not foul. Here you go. Another stretch of road games awaits the Timberwolves. First up on this trip, the Trailblazers, who have won six of their last eight games. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get back to having fun. Last game, everybody did their job. We came out with a dub. That shit was fun. Let's get back to it. Team on three, one, two, three. Peace. It's a Northwest Division collision tonight from Portland, Oregon. I'll let y'all know I got this mic on, so don't say no wild shit, all right? I'm the feds. I am the feds. Okay. And go, and go. What's up, boy? Low, see low. Good job, gang. Force him right, force him right, force him right, Bendo. Right, there you go. There you go. There you go. Good job, Bendo. Good job, Bendo. Hey, let's watch out for a little on the glass and keep it alive. Yeah, cat. Yeah, cat. Love that, boy. Have fun, brother. Have fun. What's up, my bro? You all right feel better? No. Way to be honest. Way to be honest. He may not be feeling great, but Ant has 21 points with under a minute left in the third. He's about to start feeling a whole lot better. Now Ant steps back over Covington and drains the three. How about that from Anthony Edwards? Here's Ant on the attack. Left in a dribble in the paint, splits two defenders, layup is good off the glass. Step back three for Ant right side. Oh, he got it, he drew a foul. Anthony Simons fouled Anthony Edwards. And Ant with a chance for a four point play. I saw the man in front of me and I saw fear in his eyes, I guess. And that was all she wrote. Feel like black Jesus. Anthony Edwards with it. Norman Powell trying to stick with him. Off the screen, around Nurkic, and still with it. Into the paint, rises up in traffic, banking it in for two, and he drew a foul. He is unstoppable tonight. Fando offensive rebound. 
it ends up in the hands of Edwards. Baseline jumper, good. He's got 40. Even with Ant's huge night, it's a tie game with 10.2 to play. Six now with five, starts to move with left-handed dribble into the paint to the rim. The shot blocked by Simons. It's a goal, 10. Counted for two. Timberwolves lead, 109-107. Covington looking to get it in, down by two. They get it to Simons, one dribble, and launches the three. It's offline, no. Nurkic put back in the buzzer, uh-uh. The game is over. Coming out here and, and doing the job on a consistent basis is, uh, you know, it's going to make uh, the naysayers be quiet. Got a battery on their ass. Fellas. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. I got a battery on the battery. Best big in the league came through. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. My boy. The win in Portland was a good start, but now this road trip gets much more difficult. I think the team's been playing playing well of late. This has been a kind of a tough stretch of the schedule on paper, and I think they've gotten through it. Hey, we, we all we got out here, bro. Yeah. Have fun, y'all. How you put it back out there? Let's get it. Team open, what you Team. Left angle, three on the way. Is good. Terrible's out to the 8 nothing lead. Tough challenges anytime, you know, Warriors and Phoenix are on the schedule, especially on back-to-back -back nights on the road. Very difficult. Steph, always difficult. The Wolves fight, but they fall to the Warriors. And the Timberwolves are going to have playing it out and fly down to Arizona and take on the best team in the NBA. And for losing to the second best team, we're the Warriors in the NBA tonight. Phoenix, who, you know, one of the most consistent teams out there. Like, those guys just have it rolling for the last year plus. And you're going into their building, gonna be tough, especially on no rest, a time zone change, losing an hour. Like, that's a, that's a difficult thing to do. No one cares about the labor, they only care about the baby, so. We got to make sure we're going out there and get the job done because that's all the people care about. That's all the fans care about. That's all you know. Our, our record's going to show. It's not going to show about all the work we put in. 